in economics says the return on investment in people, especially very young people, very, very high. Right now, a lot of economists don't have a clue of what's going on. I mean, a lot of economists, and probably me included. But when we start thinking about how to get fixes to get the economy started again, we have to be a little more careful than we've been in the past. We have a big emphasis now on potholes, on infrastructure, it's called. The new director of OMB, Peter Orzag, has actually written a definitive study of what the economic rate of return is to potholes, and he found that they're pretty, pretty low, actually. What I learned and became so important was that investing in people was as important as buildings or structures or roads, although those are important too. There are many projects out there, but few have the rate of return of early childhood investments, offering 10% annual rate of return. So for the same dollars, you can actually invest by training teachers and training children. But what comes out of it is a reduction in crime, the promotion of schooling, the fact that we're going to get a more skilled workforce in the future. There are very, very few government programs that have any return close to this. These rates of return calculations have not entered American political life to the extent they need to. This is not just speculation. This is not, I represent no lobby group. It's a piece of analytical work. Early childhood programs is one of the highest returns that we have on the docket right now available to make in American society. So it's foolish not to use it.